Hi, in this video, we're going to look at how to add external style sheets to a website to apply a theme to a website. In the previous tutorial, we looked at the first two methods of using CSS code to apply a theme to a web page. Those two methods were inline styling and an internal style sheet. Inline styling is where you add the style attribute directly in a tag uh, for an element on a web page. So for example, here I have a H1 size heading, and if I wanted to change the color of this heading, I could add the style attribute within the H1 tag and specify the styling that I want for that heading. So for example, color green and maybe uh, background color yellow. Okay, that's an example of inline styling. Now, the problem with inline styling is that if you want to apply a style to multiple elements on a web page, your code starts to get quite messy and quite repetitive. So, for example, if I wanted to make this paragraph text red, I could say oops, I could say um, style equals color red. So that's using the inline styling style attribute to apply um, a red color to this paragraph. But then let's say I have multiple paragraphs on this web page. I would need to add that style information to every single paragraph that I add. And then if I want to change that theme later or change the color for paragraphs, I would need to update every single paragraph to change the color. So this is where internal style sheet, sheets uh, came in. What I could do instead of adding the style information in the tags is use a style tag within the web page, either in the head section or the body section, and apply a style to all of those elements on the web page. So for example, I could say h1 color green, just reference the h1 tag or uh, heading one tag, and within curly braces, apply all of the information uh, that I want there for the styling of those size headings. Okay, and for paragraphs, I could do the same thing. So what this will do is apply to all paragraphs on the page the color red, and I don't need to do that individually for each paragraph. So that fixes the, the problem of uh, repeating the same styling code on a web page and, and also um, making it easier to update the theme in the future. If I want to update the color of all paragraphs, I only need to change it here once and it will apply to every single paragraph on the page. But what if we didn't just want to update one page, one page's theme, but an entire website's theme, multiple pages? Well, that's where external style sheets come in. So we have these three methods of adding CSS code. Internal styling, oh sorry, inline styling, internal style sheets, and external style sheets where we create a separate file, a CSS file, and add all of the theme information to that file. And in each web page, we just reference that one file. So let's have a look at how to do that. What we'll need to do is create a new file. And we'll need to save it with the .css file extension. So I'm going to choose File, Save As. And this is my website folder that has two pages in there, index.html and page2.html. I'm going to save this new file as style.css. And depending on which coding editor or code editor you're using, you might need to change the file type from a drop-down menu. So it should end in .css. And then I'll save that. So here I have these two web pages. I've got the home page and I've got page two. They have the same content. They both have H1 size headings and they both have paragraphs, each of those pages. So now in this CSS file, I'm going to add the styling information and apply it to both of those web pages. All right, so I don't need to add style tags in this file because it's already a CSS file. So it knows that it's going to contain style information. All I need to do is uh, add the styling information that I want. So for example, I can use the H1 tag or selector, and within curly braces, I can apply that theme that I want. Color green for text color, and background color yellow, which is not gonna look that great, but uh, just so we can 
see an easy example. Okay, and then for paragraphs, I'm going to make the text color red. Okay, so I've applied this theme to all H1 size headings, and I've applied this theme to all P elements or all paragraphs. Now I need to save that. And all I need to do now is tell the home page index.html as well as page2.html to use the styling information from this one CSS file here. And to do that, we can use the link tag, which I'll add now to the home page first, and then I'll copy that into page two. So I'll add that here within the head section of the page. So link and then REL, which stands for relationship, equals style sheet. So we're, we're telling uh, our web page that uh, we're linking a CSS file here, and the relationship is that that other file is a style sheet. Then href, which is short for hypertext reference. And in here, we link to our uh, style sheet. So it's in the same folder as these two web pages. It's style.css. So I can just say style.css and then simply close that tag. And that's enough. Okay, so that uh, we can then copy and paste into page two as well. So we have this link relationship equals style sheet href equals style.css in both of these files and they're both saved. Now if I go and open the home page, you can see we've got that theme. We've got heading with green text, yellow background, and we've got two separate paragraphs here that are both red. If we go up and open page two as well, it's got exactly the same theme. Now if I change my mind and I've decided that I want uh, my headings to be blue, and I don't really want a yellow background anymore, uh, but I want my paragraphs to be uh, green, then I can just change this one file here, style.css. I just update that one file, and now that's going to apply to both of those web pages still. All right, so they've both got the same theme. Okay, so that's the great thing about external style sheets. You can have all of your styling information in one place, uh, so it's easy to apply and update a theme for an entire web website that uh, can contain many, many pages. And so if I was going to add more web pages to this site, all I would need to do is make sure that I've got this tag here, the link tag, uh, with the link to that style.css file, so that I apply the theme to those future web pages. And any changes that I make to that style sheet will apply to all of those pages. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. In the next few tutorials, we're going to look at uh, more uh, CSS properties that we can change. So things like changing the font properties, font style, uh, font size, um, background colors. So we'll look at styling web pages more. And we'll also look at what to do if, for example, we don't want to apply a theme to every single paragraph or every single heading, but maybe just to some elements. So maybe some paragraphs or some headings while using an external style sheet. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.